Hello, my name is Tomalaya Komalafe. I'll be going over another application of click automation. The key here is what I'm looking to do is see if we can create some form of uh, static reports, uh, something that's maybe pushed into Excel. Here I'll be using Google Sheets, where we want to put in each sheet values based on a table that exists in a click application. I've created another click automation video where I do some comparisons for values so you can compare if you know a sales number is under 100k so on and so forth. And that's another video that's available for you all to see. But this one is slightly different because it's nuanced. Meaning we have let's say a large table. I'm going to show you what this table is. I'm going to go into the application. I have a large table here. We have information for multiple employees. So an employee, the customer, the employee services, sales, profit, and so forth. But let's see, I'm interested in pushing just to, uh, in my report. I want to include, I want to basically make selections in my automation block for just men's clothes, bath clothes, children's wear, so on and so forth. So all these different categories of products. And I want to filter, literally it would be like I'm applying a filter here. So for example, if I select men's footwear, I want to push just this table because I'm selecting men's footwear into the men's footwear tab. And then I would like to, again, just kind of replicating the same idea. If I wanted to go from men's footwear to, let's say, baby wear, now I want to move this block, this table that has all data for employees and customers, sales, profit, and margin percent, where it's filtered for baby wear into the baby wear tab. That's the idea. So I've built a block that goes through this and I'll walk you through kind of the process. So first I'm gonna run this code. You would see what it does. It does populate, it's gonna populate in my Google Sheet, the different tabs according to the use case and according to the filtered objects. And then I'll kind of walk through why this is possible. So let's start. I'm gonna to go to the application block. So this is kind of what I'm looking to do. I run this and now what you're going to see as I run this is if I look at the output in chronological order, I can see kind of all the sequence of events. So I know, for example, there's a condition for men's clothes. I'm checking if I have created a filter for men's clothes and I'm now going to be applying in the men's clothes, right? Populating those values. And now if I go back into my automation block, you can see what the next I'm now in the women's wear if I go into my test automation I'm sure if I go to women's wear I'm gonna see that I'm populating these values on the fly so if I wait a second I'm sure it's gonna keep populating the remaining values and what this is doing is it's literally checking um, it's going through the list of possible filters I can apply and if the filter matches women's wear it populates this in this block right here so let's see women's wear still running 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 and all right so now it's checking that again and if we go back to the block we can see it's checking this conditions it checks again the next category of the if the condition it was sportswear it says no that's false but if the condition is if if it's sportwear and that's true then the block goes to filling in the values for sportswear so i think you guys get the idea so we keep iterating through all the different uh all the different values in a particular dimension and then i'm populating those values in a google sheet somewhere down the line the way i do that is going into i'm going to hit stop so we can all see kind of the idea here. So again, when we create automations, we have the ability to, when uh, the first block you add is the start block. And once I hit start, do reload. And I pull in the data I want to, the application I want to reload, right? So these are just values I'm ingesting. 
I always want to first clear all selections. That's super important to keep in mind, right? And I'm clearing, I choose the app ID on to clear all selections on. I, this, we, I can send you the link on how to explain this. There's an explanation of what lock field means, but I have mine says yes. If you have multiple states in application, you can choose to uh, clear certain states only. For the fields, I am pulling in from the Click Cloud Services the the API list values of fields. Because what I want to do is for the category for the field name category, I want to bring out all the values in that field, and this comes out as a loop block. And now that it's a loop block, I can choose to select the values of that field. So for example, on the field category, I can choose here to select on the values of fields, on the choose that value here. And now I'm choosing to select whatever value as this loops through all the fields in the category, all the values in that field, as this loops through all the values in this field, I'm gonna make a selection on that value. And if the value meets one of my values, one of my sheets. So in this case, I want to append all the values that are selected for men's clothes. So I create that condition. So you have list of field values, right? So I'm calling the item here. If list of field values, if the value that's coming out of that output equals men's clothes, bring in a straight table which is again another Google uh, another click sense API I can call in, bring the straight table, and then I'm choosing to append one row to sheet. This sequence of uh, events, uh, I have done this already in another automation video where I go through how you bring in a straight table, how you create a condition, and how you append a row to a sheet. So here I'm just showing you kind of so much more advanced ways of applying click automation. And as you can imagine, because I'm looping through, I am checking if the condition is men's clothes. If not, the second condition really just replicates in the same event, right? So if it's not if it's not men's clothes, check if it's sportswear. If it's sportswear, then the same sequence of events, right? Do the exact same thing and then append the values. And again, this sequence of events of appending rows to from a straight table to a Google Sheet. I've done this already. And this can all be done in Excel also. Right. So all what I'm doing here, I can append rows to also Excel work table. So I'm choosing to do this in Google Sheet because it's easier for me to uh, change the values and go back and forth. But this could all be done also in Excel where you have access to your OneDrive. Same idea again. So I'm just checking again for every of the values in my category. And once I have all that, all these conditions, what if I want to do additional tasks afterwards, I have to make sure I clear all selections at the end. And then I can do other ancillary um, actions afterwards. So in my case, beyond just beyond just populating these values for these tabs, I also want to get a total, right? So uh, sales by category value so just think of this as having like a totals tab and then just the financial report all right i hope this was straight and straightforward enough um again the hardest part here is kind of keeping track of the conditions you i'm creating but in the end it's rep repetitive once i've done it once you're just repeating the same method over and over and over.